Hello and welcome back to Dantenia's Date Request, which features a Dantenia with stronger armor, even though her arms are more exposed. But never mind that, today I'm going to show you how to get the Arkma Infinium from Hermaeus Mora. So first, we had to do a quest for uh, this guy, Septimus Cygnus. Uh, it is Cygnus, not sickness, as in, you know, being ill. Um, we had to do a quest... Uh, that you also have to do for the main storyline if you want to defeat Arduin. It's the one where you have to uh, inscribe a uh, lexicon. And now he is telling us that in order to open this box we need uh, the blood of the dwarves, but there are no living dwarves left, so we have to collect blood from a high elf, a wood elf, a dark elf, uh, a falmer and an orc, because they are very closely related to the dwemer, to the dwarves. And when we try to leave, we see this uh, pleasant thing. That is the presence of Hermaeus Mora, this wretched abyss. If you are playing it with the Dragonborn DLC, you will see this as some sort of strange, sickly green fog with tentacles, which is I interesting. I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been It was the most unnatural pause right there. Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly So, I'm certain this would make anybody quite nervous. Some godlike being telling you, Yeah, my emissary is getting a bit useless because you're helping him. Do you want to be my emissary? <laughs> but I would be really nervous, like, okay, how do I know the same fate won't befall me? First, I'm going to collect some farmer blood. Uh, which we can collect in this underground region called Blackreach, which is also just really, really beautiful, I think. And, well, quite definitely inspired by the Underdark regions in Dungeons & Dragons games. And where is this Falmer? I'm s oh, over there, okay. Okay, so that takes care of him. And now when we try to search him, uh, because we have this... Um, S <laughs> this essence extractor. When I try to search him, I get the option of searching him or harvesting his blood, so I will harvest his blood, and then you can still search him as you normally would. Our second location is going to be Halted Stream Camp, because it is a bandit camp that has both archers and mages for bandits, so we are quite likely to find um, a wood elf and a dark elf among their ranks. Also, this is quite an interesting uh, place in and of itself. Is this... A... Nope. <laughs> this isn't a wood elf. Shame. Anyway, this is quite an interesting uh, place in and of itself, because it is a very large iron mine. And inside the iron mine you can find the Book of Transmute Ore, which changes iron into silver and silver into gold. So these bandits are just stationed here, just mining away every day, trying to turn it into silver and gold for a huge profit, I'd imagine. I think that is quite an interesting place. Again, it's not connected to any major quest, so... Yeah, maybe I could have saved this location for, um... What's it called? Things you missed in Skyrim. But there's not really a whole lot to tell about it in the abstract. I mean, I just did it in a few seconds. And thankfully, we found, through pure coincidence, a Dunmer over here. So, Harvest Blood. Although we found no, um, Orc or, um... Wood Elf in this location, we can find some High Elf blood, because if we go through the mine, we get to the other accent, exit, this is some sort of very mean trap that they use, and here you can see the body of a High Elf. It will always be here, it will not despawn, and you can just harvest some blood. To collect the other bloods, I'm just going to do some uh, bandit hole hunting, and when I find a blood, I will update you on that. <laughs> I'm a professional. It's an orc. I love that this is specifically a bandit thug, even though obviously all bandits are by definition thugs. It's a bit like the restless Draugr. I mean, <laughs> a Draugr is by definition restless. You know, that's why the corpse is walking around. And we have a wood elf. And we are also dying <laughs> quite rapidly. Um, 
stamina as well. Okay, we're safe again, and now we finally have the Wood Elf Blood. So now we can go back to, um, what's his name? Septimus Cygnus. Okay, here's your blood. Fucking hear that shit. Okay, do it. That. <laughs> okay. That's what making the mixture looks like. Yeah, watch. Okay, you can see that the box just has these dimensions. But then this happens. <laughs> it's really cool. And here is the Okma Infinium. What is this? It's, it's just a book. I can... Yep. And then Homeus Mora kills him, sadly. Anyway, we can take it. And when we try to leave, this guy returns. Come, my champion. Four hundred. He just keeps on talking. Uh, Okay, so now you have this book, the Okma Infinium. When you read it, it is consumed, uh, but when you do, you get to choose um, all of the warrior skills, all of the magic skills, or all of the thief skills, and whichever one of those three you pick, you gain five levels in each of those skills, which is really quite powerful. Anyway, that's the Okma Infinium. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.